y'all so check this out i got the uh the dog and the rabbit i found this like play thing for them so what's going on guys welcome back to my channel so check this out i was thinking i want a dolly hold on check this out y'all i found these on the side of the road the other day aren't those awesome got that bike for sale Check out this refrigerator that I found. It works great, y'all. It's nice and clean and everything. Uh, we're gonna put that in the studio. But today's topic is DIY tripod dolly. Okay, if you don't know what a tripod dolly is, basically a tripod dolly looks like this. Now, what it exactly does is it allows you to move around the tripod and the camera in one smooth unison well those go for like you know 40 bucks 50 bucks 60 bucks and I was just like man I don't think I could do that I'm like that's too much money right now oh did y'all see that I in the last video we were talking about covering up the garage uh, cover the garage door opener how do y'all like it? I think it looks great like that. I mean, so much better than a damn garage door. <clears throat> but I finally got some of the studio lights and everything hooked up. But we need to build a tripod dolly. So I went down to Harbor Freights and I found these. They were three or four bucks a piece. No big deal. So I bought three of them because you need three. And then this this stuff right you can use wood if you want to but I have this corner this is what my uh, refrigerator came in so basically what a tripod dolly is this hold on you can see that it allows the tripod to move but the problem is is that when I move them you see that they they want to go different directions so I have to keep them together and I was looking at the designs online and basically it's this kind of contraption with some type of bracing in the middle. So I have already tried and measured and I basically know how the shape and the design is going to go. It almost naturally just kind of falls into place. So I'm going to take these. Now you guys can easily replicate this. This is, I mean, I picked this stuff up at the hardware store. So that's what it's gonna look like, just like that. And all I gotta do is screw it in, okay? And then once I screw it in, the tripod will sit, hold on, let me get it on there. It'll sit like that, you see? And then what I can do is I can move it and move it around as one unit. Pretty cool idea, right? The center of that dot so that way it's like that and then we're going to take our craftsman drill that we got i gotta get rid of this dolly real quick because it's causing an issue okay so let's get this lined up again i want to try to get it as centered as possible So I got the first piece on like that and then we're going to attach these here so that will sit on these foam pads that we got here and it helps to keep it very centered all right and then it will go like that so that part needs to swing in all right just like that that's how we want it just like that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and and put the screw in in on that end and then that in and that in and we'll keep going what we're doing
All right. Okay, so we got it mounted together. Now you can see how it will move a lot better together freely. And this was real simple to replicate. This was easy to make. I was just online. I was on Amazon looking at them. I was just like, yeah, I think I can build that. So, like that. There we go. Tripod, DIY tripod, dole. We have the camera mounted to the to the tripod and then the tripod is to the dolly and it's it's quite it's quite leveled. Whoops. It's uh it's quite leveled actually. So and you can see I can move it around quite easily, you know? It just it just rolls around. Now, one thing that I do need to figure out is is I need to figure out a way to keep these from moving almost to where I can put them in place and what I was thinking about it was maybe like a bottle cap or something that could sit in there maybe like take a PVC pipe right and cut about that much and glue it in there right and you'll have a ring but you'll have a ring with a wall and this could sit inside of that PVC P you know ring and you could have a high wall on it and that will keep the leg from moving but this is essentially what I wanted to build and I'm very happy with it it looks like this is going to do great for us guys awesome awesome so that's it I'm done thank you guys so much for watching as we build the DIY camera dolly make sure to hit the like and subscribe and as always, you guys be cool, and I'll check y'all out next time. Peace. Man, it looks like it's going to rain. Ugh. Boy. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I'll holla at y'all.